Hi, this is Seth David for SchoolofBookkeeping.com, bringing to you another very special screencast. This time we're talking about the secrets of the undeposited funds account in QuickBooks Online. The undeposited funds account in QuickBooks Online doesn't work really any much different than the undeposited funds account in QuickBooks Desktop. But if you've never used QuickBooks Desktop, and for that matter, if you're getting into using QuickBooks and QuickBooks Online is your very first experience or exposure to an accounting product, then you may not know what the undeposited funds account is. And that's what I'm here for. I'm here to solve these mysteries for you. And that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to solve the mystery of the undeposited funds account. What is it? What does it do? Why do we have it? Why do we need it? Right? Why doesn't it get included as one of the accounts on the statement of cash flows? Why? 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 Because it's the same as cash. It's, it's undeposited funds. It's money that I've received, constructively anyway, that I haven't actually gotten into the bank yet. So the obvious example is a check I've received that's literally sitting on my desk that I haven't yet taken to the bank. Uh, so I go into QuickBooks and I receive the payment, right? I enter the payment in QuickBooks and that puts it into undeposited funds. If I, if I go to receive payments, if I go over here and I want to go into my customer's area and I want to receive a payment. That payment goes to undeposited funds. Of course, I can choose to put it directly into checking, but you really don't want to do that. And I'm going to explain why. The reason why is the very same reason that the undeposited funds account exists. And the reason is very simple. The undeposited funds account is a bucket. It's the, it's the desk that I'm working at where I put, physically put those checks I've received. And it's, it's where I get to group all those checks because in reality, and as I often like to explain to people, the undeposited funds account, or in general, what happens in QuickBooks should mirror what happens in the real world, right? What happens in QuickBooks doesn't stay in QuickBooks. It, it should mirror what goes on. So what happens is I get three or four checks in a day and I group them together. I, I'm not gonna deposit each check by itself, right? I'm, that would drive the teller crazy. They would kick me out. I'm going to take all five or six checks that I received and deposit them at once. The undeposited funds account gives me the opportunity to group all the payments I've received today into a single deposit so that my deposit in QuickBooks matches exactly the deposit in the bank. Another example is uh, when I'm processing credit cards, right? In a single day, I might process a whole bunch of Visa and MasterCard and I might process a whole bunch of Amex. Well, how's that going to be received into my account? All the Visa and MasterCard that I processed today are going to get lumped together into a single payment and they're going to fund together in my bank account. So again, as I'm receiving those payments in QuickBooks throughout the day, they're going to go into undeposited funds. This way I can group together all the Visa and MasterCard because they fund together. And then in a separate deposit, I can group all the American Express and deposit that stuff. So notice on my sample balance sheet here, I have undeposited funds of $20,062.52. So let's see what's in that account. And the way we see what's in that account is by going to make a deposit, right? So let's go into our new transactions area here. And we wanna go here where it says bank deposit. And sure enough, what it does is it shows me here are the existing payments. It says select existing payments. These are the payments that I entered, one from Cool Cars and one from Freeman Sporting Goods. And assuming these were both checks, I can check them both off. And notice that it, it, when checked off together, they total that very same 20.62.52. And if I simply check those off and don't add anything additionally down here, then I can click Save and New, and that's going to show a single deposit in my check register for 2.62.52, which is going to match the deposit that the bank shows on the statement or online in a day or two. Um, because that's the lump sum total. On the, on the other hand, if, if, if one of these was a Visa and MasterCard or MasterCard payment and the other one was American Express, then I want to do them separately. I'd want to check this off and click Save and New and then check the other one off. So they're each in as separate deposits. And over here I can hit uh, Close, Save and Close. Boom. So now there's no more undeposited funds, is there? It's zero and all the money went into my checking account and I can see what that looks like by scrolling down here there they are separately the 387 and the 1675.52 now let's say I realize oh my god I deposited them separately they were supposed to go together now what it's very simple all I have to do is delete the deposit okay so we'll delete the deposit of the 1675.52 it says are you sure yes I'm sure 
Go back down to the bottom of this report. Let's do it the same thing with the 387. We'll go to more and delete. And yes. So now they're going to be back. That throws them back into undeposited funds. So I come over here. Bank deposit. And there they are. And now I can check them both off and save and close. And now I've got one deposit for 22, 62, 52. So you see the difference? You know, done this way, I have one total deposit that's going to match what the bank shows. If I do them separately, then i got to sit there when I'm reconciling, adding them up in my head, trying to figure out, do these two add up to the, 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 what's on the statement? I don't know. So anyway, that's what the undeposited funds account is all about. Works the same way in desktop as QuickBooks Online. But for the sake of those who didn't already know, now you know. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please post them below, in, on, or around, wherever you're watching this. And we'll be more than happy to get back to you promptly with an answer. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you on the web.